EISS National Lab provides a platform that's unlike any other that we have here on Earth. The conditions that exist there actually give you the opportunity to truly accelerate R&D, and it's a true innovation platform. The SpaceX 9 mission is very exciting for us. There are 20 payloads representing 40 experiments. There are several life sciences experiments, including one in collaboration with NIH looking at osteoporosis. Another experiment on the SpaceX 9 mission is an experiment from Eli Lilly and Company looking at tablet dissolution that can help us to understand drug delivery. Multiple student payloads are launching to the ISS to excite and inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers. Another payload is leveraging the ISS as an Earth observation platform, looking at tracking maritime applications for vessels in our oceans. There's even a payload looking at fungal strains isolated from the Chernobyl nuclear power plant accident, which can be evaluated in microgravity for biomedical and agricultural applications. So we're looking at a lot of great research with a variety of potential applications for life back here on Earth. But on this particular video, we've decided to highlight two very different payloads that demonstrate two novel uses for the station. Our project is a basic science project focusing on the effect of microgravity on the function of the human heart cell. The heart cell on the single cell level is the one that actually contracts or generates force to power the rest of the heart. So our lab focuses on the heart because I'm a cardiologist by training and just of the research is that we're taking a patient's blood from the patient's blood, we convert them into induced uh, pluripotent stem cells. We're basically taking a small sample of a patient's own skin or blood cells and then transforming those cells into stem cells, which is a very powerful cell type because it can actually turn into any other cell type you want. The space station is uh, a great resource, uh, not just for us, but for other investigators that just want to understand what is the effect of near-zero gravity on human body. This is a really new technology, and so there's so much that we don't know yet. Using the International Space Station, we can, we can dream big. We can think of ideas, think of questions, think of novel concepts that otherwise we wouldn't be able to do here on Earth. In addition to the life science research that can be conducted inside the station, there are opportunities to use the station as an external platform. And the conditions that exist outside the station are like nothing that you can find here on Earth and certainly can help to accelerate research in a very unique way. The traditionally, space computers have been built around these really expensive and slow processors that are radiation hard processors and they're you know, 10, 15, 20 years old. And so our idea has been to use current terrestrial technology and blend that in uh, to more radiation tolerant technology to develop a reliable space computer. Station is an incredible platform uh, for being able to test this kind of technology. The NanoRax external platform is a, a physical enclosure that's mounted on the outside of the International Space Station and you can put, you can have your experiment in the box and it gets access to power, it gets access to a data bus so that you can transfer data into the station and potentially even back down to Earth during the course of an experiment. In our space experiment, we are uh, basically exposing these, these chips to the space environment and in real time evaluating facts that are occurring from solar radiation. This is a platform for rapid prototyping relative to what has been traditionally done in space. We're really watching the beginning of a revolution right now. And if you can put multiple satellites in low Earth orbit, and you can put high resolution cameras on them, and you can put processors on them that can handle all that data coming in and do something intelligent with them, there are going to be businesses that no one's thought of yet. And having the ISS available as a place to do this kind of thing has been a huge difference.